Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel blog post. Today we're going to take a look at how we can extract from a very long data range a list of unique cities and the first four entries for each one of those cities in a transposed format and the, each of the cities may have a different number of entries. So let's see how we can do that in Excel. So our scenario is in columns A, B, and C, I have a list of various cities, dates of their entries of the data, and a column worth of data. And what I want to do is create this table that I have in this area where I list each city individually and I transpose the data but only the first four items of each one. If it has less than that, I want to put a blank. If it has more, I don't want to include those. All I want is the first four items for each. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete this and start from scratch to show you how we got to that point. The first thing I'm going to do is highlight my list of cities here and I'm going to paste it here and go to the data tab remove duplicates and say OK and now I only have a unique list of the cities from what I had in column A. Next I'm going to enter data 1 in cell F1 and copy it over so I have uh, the four columns that I want to insert that data and I'm going to format that just like I had the word location you can format that any way you want. And I'm also going ahead and inserting grid lines so it looks like a nice, neat uh, data range. Now, the key is entering the transpose formula, but I'm also going to use offset in order to create the range that I want and put the data in horizontally. Now, with transpose, you need to highlight the area that you ultimately want the results to go in. So you need to do that first. And then I'm going to type equals transpose. I'm going to hit tab. Now we have to create our array. Now I'm going to use the offset formula to do that. Now the offset returns a reference to a range that is a given number of rows and columns from a given reference. So I'm going to hit tab. So my reference point I'm going to use cell C2 and I'm going to lock that. The rows, I have to determine where the reference is going to start. So I'm going to use the match function and I'm going to look up the city and I am going to use the range for that here. I'm going to lock that and I want a zero or an exact match and I'm going to hit comma. So that's created my rows except I do want to subtract one because if it moves down the number of rows to that match from my starting point it will actually move down one row too far so I need to bring it back up. In terms of columns I don't want to move any columns over at all so that's my starting point. Now how high do I want that range to be that I'm going to transpose? Well, I want it to either be the number of entries that we have or four, whichever is less. So I'm going to use the min function, and it's going to be the minimum of the count if function from this range with my criteria being the location or the number four. So it's going to be the minimum of those two. And in terms of width, I only want it one column wide. I'm going to put two parentheses closures there. And because this is an array formula, I can't use Enter. I have to use Control Shift Enter. And now Excel has pulled into this row the first four entries for, in this case, the location Detroit. Notice it has 9, 10, 8, and 6, 9, 10, 8, and 6, so that matches up. If I highlight that and copy it down, it will do that for the rest of the cities that we have. 
Cleveland, I have 5, 19, 3, and 16. So if we go down to Cleveland, 5, 19, 3, and 16. Notice for Indianapolis, I have 4, 10, and 4 because I only had three entries there, so I got an error on that last one. Now, unfortunately, because transpose is not looking at a single cell, it's looking at the full array, you cannot use the if error function to eliminate your errors that you might have in something like this. Now, if you don't need these formulas anymore, one thing you can do is highlight that range, can copy it and convert it to its values. And now, since it doesn't have any formula, any transpose formula anymore, I can now do a control H and do a find and replace, look for that pound n slash a and just replace it with a blank. I'll say replace all. It made six corrections. And now I've created a horizontal list or a transposed list for each one of my cities of only the first four entries that are on the list. Again, if there were more, it ignored them. If there were less, it just left it a blank. And that's how you can do that in Excel. And there you have it. I hope you like what you see. If you do like what you see here, please take a minute to share this post on your favorite social network. I can be found on Facebook, Google+, Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube. So I hope you enjoy this. If you'd like to see more, please feel free to stop by my website, excel-bytes.com, and I hope you subscribe. So have a great day and happy excelling.